The pronghorn is a species of mammal endemic to interior western and central North America. It's not actually an antelope, but it's often known colloquially in North America as the prongbuck, the pronghorn antelope, or simply antelope. The pronghorn is called an antelope due to its resemblance to the true antelopes of the Old World. The pronghorn came to resemble the true antelopes of the Old World over time due to convergent evolution. Convergent evolution describes the acquisition of the same biological trait in unrelated lineages. Thus, it is reasonable to conclude that the pronghorn faced the same kind of evolutionary pressures over time as the Old World true antelopes did due to living in a very similar environment. During the Pleistocene epoch, there were 12 species of pronghorn, and when man came, there were 5, but now there is just 1, Antilocapra americana. Pleistocene is a geological epoch that lasted from 2.5 million years ago to 11,700 years ago, spanning the world's recent period of repeated glaciations. The pronghorn is the fastest running animal in the western hemisphere. Its top speed can be anywhere up to 55 miles per hour or 88.5 kilometers per hour for about 0.8 kilometers. It's been suggested that the pronghorn evolved its fast-running ability to evade predators such as the American cheetah, which is now extinct. America used to have cheetahs, lions, and camels. This pronghorn no longer have any predators extant in North America that can chase it down at such speeds. I can imagine that, over time, their average running speeds will decline over time to match their nearest predators, which are mountain lions, coyotes, and wolves. The pronghorn is evolutionarily adapted to fast running as it has a very large heart and lungs and hollow hair. It runs with its mouth open to maximize the amount of oxygen it intakes. Without predators that can run as fast as it, the antelope has no pressure to keep these adaptations. For example, if a coyote can run at 43 miles per hour tops for a very short distance and pronghorn can run at 55 miles per hour for say 800 meters, then they obviously don't need to run that fast. For example, if pronghorn A can run at 55 miles per hour and is the fastest representative of its species, and pronghorn B can only run at 50 miles per hour but has a more efficient digestive system, they can both outrun a coyote that runs at 43 miles per hour. The difference is that pronghorn B will have a survival advantage that truly matters during lean times over pronghorn A. This evolutionary process will repeat itself with many other traits in the pronghorn species until one day a predator in its environment can run as fast as it can. When that day comes, all individuals in the pronghorn species will once again face great selection pressure to run faster to escape their predators. In the meantime, pronghorn live a carefree existence in the grasslands, brushlands, and deserts eating a wide variety of plant foods.